hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one interesting super badge which is nothing but our flow collection and loop super badge unit so we have already completed all the prerequisite mentioned for this particular super badge and if you have any query regarding how to complete prerequisite for this badge the video has been already posted in our channel so do check that so let's get started guys so for this super badge also we need special developer edition organization to be connected in our playground so as i have already completed that step i'm directly going to launch this challenge now and if you have any query regarding how to connect with developer org the video has been already posted in our channel so do check that so let's go to our home page and search for flow click on flows and here we are going to create a new flow select screen flow and click on create so guys here we are going to select our new resource so i am giving resource type as formula and for api name we are going to copy it from our challenge itself so scroll up so it is right over here so copy this total minus 30 and paste it over here and for formula we are going to give this one so copy this and paste it over here so for data type i am going to choose date and time let's check the syntax now so once it got valid click on done now let's add one element over here so which is nothing but get records click on that and for label i am going to give it as get opportunity and api name is auto populated and for object we are going to choose it as opportunity let's give our condition now so for this we are going to give field name as create date followed by operator greater than or equal and for value we are going to give to today minus 30 and scroll down for short order we are going to give it as ascending short by name followed by all records for this how many records to store let's click on done now i am just going to hover to free form and here i am going to pull this assignment to our flow so for this label we are going to provide value which is given from our challenge itself so copy this and paste it over here let's set our variable now so here i'm just going to click on new resource give resource type as variable and for api name i'm going to give it as opportunity records and let's give our data type now which is of record so click on record now let's select this checkbox which is allow multiple value as collection once it is done click on done so object we are going to give it as opportunity click on opportunity now click on done so operator should be equal and for value i'm going to give it as opportunity from get opportunity once it is done click on done so guys i'm going to connect this get record with assignment let's add our collection sort to the flow so here i'm going to provide label as short opportunity so once it is done we are going to give our collection variable so i'm going to choose opportunity from get opportunity so sorry guys it should be record opportunity record followed by short by name and short order should be ascending once it is done click on done and we are going to connect this assignment with collection short so it's time to add our screen component click on that and i'm going to choose this flow label now so for label i'm going to give it as opportunity screen 
so type it once it is done api name is auto populator and in components we are going to search it for pick list and click on pick list for pick list api name i am going to give it as stage list so type stage list over here and guys now we are going to scroll it down and let's add our choice click on add choice so here i'm going to click on new choice resource from this drop down select pick list choice set and give api name as stage names and for opportunity i'm going to add it as object and our data type is pick list followed by field as stage name and short order should be by default which is given as default order of field once it is done click on done now let's add one more add choice option over here so here i'm going to choose new choice resource so for this i'm choosing resource type as choice and api name as view all so type it over there i'm going to copy this and paste it in choice label as well and scroll down for choice value i'm going to give it as all once it is done click on done so on your right side for default value we are going to give view all so type view all on click on that so your pick list should be looking something like this now let's add one more component called data table so it should be coming next to our pick list and api name i'm giving it as opportunity records so type it over there so once it is done scroll down and guys here for label we are going to give it as opportunity table so i'm giving opportunity table and check this checkbox as well let's make this as upper case and for source collection we are going to give opportunity records so type it over there and click on it let's go to our configure columns so for this source field i am going to give it from our challenge itself so they have mentioned it as name so copy this and paste it over here so we are going to choose the stage name click on done so it should be name right so here we are going to choose name click on done followed by add column it should be stage copy this and paste it over here so click on stage name and click on done click on add column so copy the third value which is amount so give it as amount click on amount now click on done so repeat the steps for expected revenue click on that and done So our last step is description. So give new column as description. Click on done. So we have completed all the step given in our challenge. So now click on done and pull the screen next to collection short. I'm going to connect these two elements now. And guys, it's time to add our collection filter over here. So for this we are going to copy the label from our challenge so which is filter for stage name so copy this and paste it over here and for collection we are going to choose opportunity records for this field stage name 
should be equals for value we are going to give it as stage list so once it is done click on done and let's add one more assignment over here so for this i'm going to give field name as updated opportunity so api name is auto populated and for variable i am going to give it as opportunity records operator should be equals and for value we are going to give it as filter for stage name so let's search it over here only So type filter for stage name and choose opportunities from filter for stage name. So once it is done, click on done. So it's time to connect our elements. So I'm going to connect collection filter to assignment from assignment to screen. And now let's add one decision over here. So for this, I'm going to provide label name as is view all. So once it is given, let's give our new outcome label as S, followed by API name which is auto populator, and for resource we are going to choose stage list. So click on that. Operator should be equals, and for value we are going to give it as view all. Now let's hover back to our default outcome. and give label as no so once it is done click on done now let's connect screen with decision and decision to or collection filter so for this we are going to give outcome as no and click on done and now let's connect this decision to screen so once it is done click on save and our flow label is given as opportunity review which is here present in our challenge so copy that and paste it over here once it is done click on save so now let's go back to our flows and let's go next to our opportunity updater flow so click on this drop down and click on view details and versions over there and let's open this one which is opportunity updater so here at this position we are going to add one assignment element so click on that and let's give label as assign individual value so once it is done api name is auto populated and for this variable let's give current item from opportunity item followed by or so it is followed by or name let's search for name click on name uh, so for value we are going to give it as opportunity name So scroll down and choose this. So let's click on Add Assignment here. So I'm going to choose this current item from Loop Opportunity, followed by your account ID and operator should be equal. And for value, I'm going to give it as Opportunity Account, followed by your record ID. So once it is done, click on Add Assignment again. So here I'm going to choose same current item. followed by close date and year opportunity close date click on add assignment again so let's give current item followed by description and here we are going to choose opportunity close date so close date we have already given it as value so here we have given description right so we are going to choose opportunity description here So guys once it is done now click on done 
so let's add one more assignment over here and let's queue label as assign collection records so once it is done api name is auto populated and for variable we are going to choose new resource select variable as resource type and give variable name as collection opportunity and followed by data type as record and check this checkbox as well and give object as opportunity now click on done so for operator we are going to provide it as add for value let's give this current item from loop alone now click on done let's go down and here we are going to choose one update record so click on update records give label as update opportunities so here for record collection we are going to give collection opportunity now click on done and let's save this let's activate this as well save and activate all the flows now let's go back to our challenge and let's check all the three challenges together click on accept so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge now let's take up this challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed this super bad see you all on next video until then bye bye